Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo.de VR. Now I have a video that uh, my community wanted me to do. This is a field of view comparison between the Reverb G2, the Valve Index and the Oculus Quest 2. So I compared it in the test HMD tool. Um, <clears throat> this is a really cool tool to, to test VR headsets. You can find the link in the description below to try it for yourself. Please note that these tests are very individual. Everybody has a different eye distance. Um, the eyes are more in, in, in my head perhaps than with other people. The head shape is, everything is very individual. So please note that this is my personal result. You will wonder about the result of the, especially of the Quest 2. <laughs> so you will see that. You can find everything about VNA on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmer, Anita Pelzer VR Ambassador and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, so welcome to the test HMD tool and uh, we will test the HP Reverb G2 first. So um, this is the first um, thing here is the vertical field of view. Let's go inside there and what I'm gonna do here is uh, I will um, see a red button like this and it goes up and down and when I don't see it anymore in my headset then this is the right value i still see it still see it i don't see it anymore and that's gonna here for 94 this is the value we need and i will step outside now and now let's go what the fuck is going on with the tracking give me a second it's crazy it's just crazy um let's go to the vertical Okay, <clears throat> and then let's do it with the vertical. So there are two, oh sorry, there are two lines going left and right and as long as I still see them on both sides, I will continue to raise the, the number. So, oh, 70, I still see it, I still see it. I don't see it anymore. So let's go back, yeah, 80. I don't see it with 80. A little bit back. Here we are, 78. Now I can see the two lines at the outer edges of my view. If I go one step more, then I don't see them anymore. So let's go back here and watch the result. So as you can see here, this is the result of the HP Reverb G2. We have a vertical field of view of 94 and a horizontal field of view of 78. Okay, and the next headset is the Valve Index. Um, so, of course, I go um, as close to the um, lens as possible with all the headsets, uh, as soon as it's possible, as long as it's possible with the standard um, head um, in uh, with the face gasket. So, let's do that with um, vertical. So let's go up, 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 up. Da, 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 da. Still see it. Still see it. Still see it. Still. still See it one I still see it uh, no yeah 140 yeah I think yeah 114 could be right and then uh, let's go on horizontal go to the side to the side to the side I can still see it I can still see it see it see it I would say something like 104. It's it's hard to decide 104, 106. I would I would go for 104 or it, it depends. It, it could be one one a half millimeter that I wear the headset other uh, than uh, with my German. So it could uh, on my German test. So it could be a difference of uh, two degree or whatever. Uh, Let's let's see the results. So, uh, vertical field of view is 114, and horizontal field of view is 104 with the Valve Index. Okay, guys, and here we are with the Oculus Quest 2 via Oculus Link, and uh, of course I um, wear the headset 
um, as comfortable as possible, but as closest to the lenses as possible, of course. Uh, otherwise, that wouldn't make sense. So now I have a really comfortable um, view and everything looks great. The headset is fine. So let's go to the vertical field of view. Oh. Da -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Still see it, still see it, still see it. I still see it here. Now I don't see it anymore. Like, yeah, something like 106 or 108. Eight. Yeah, I can still still see it with 108. So let's go back here, and let's go here to the horizontal field of view. I can still see it. Still see it. Uh, with 90, I don't see it anymore. So with 88, I still I can still see the lines on the edges of the view. So this is the result of the Oculus Quest 2 and I did not expect that to be honest. Vertical field of view 108 and horizontal, horizontal field of view 88. So this is definitely more than I expected. So with my review of the uh, um, G, uh, uh, first impression of the G2, I uh, was pretty sure that the Oculus Quest 2 has bigger field of view for me and this is the result. That's true, for me at least. That's very, very interesting. Okay guys, and here are the results. <laughs> And this is what I expected. In my first impressions video, I expected that the Quest 2 for me has a bigger field of view. And as you can see, that's true, at least for me. Please, this is a very individual thing. So as you perhaps, as you can see, my, I show my face from the side, my eyes are going deeper into my head than perhaps for other people. And also my, the distance of my eyes is uh, very small. I have 59 and that's not standard. I think standard is 63 or 65 and I have 59 and that's very small and that results in a smaller field of view than other people see that. Other people see a larger field of view and this is why I'm such a big fan of big field of view because of my head and eye shape, I see a very small field of view. So I'm really glad about headsets like the Valve Index that have a bigger field of view. So that's the reason why other people see a much higher um, field of view. However, guys, I'm not happy with the results of the Reverb G2. HP is talking about the future of virtual reality and the Reverb G2 is not the future of virtual reality. I expect te technical specifications much better than this. It's not, it's not a 78 or some people see it like a 90 or whatever, but that's not the future. I mean, the Reverb G2 has an awesome display. We have to clarify that. It's great. It's just great. Everything is sharp, looks great. But you look, it looks like you, uh, you look through these uh, toilet uh, paper rolls, you know them? <laughs> that, that's how it looks for me. And that's, that is not immersive. This kills the immersion for me. Even for the Oculus Quest 2, look at this. The, the distance is, the difference is so, so big. I didn't even expect that, at least for me. So for the Oculus Quest 2, it wasn't so bad for me, the field of view. But for the Reverb G2, it was really, I did see it immediately when I wore it for the first time. It's just too small. And that's not the future of VR. It kills the immersion. It's uh, for me, guys, for me. I know this is my personal opinion. So, <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> so, other things from the Reverb G2 are really good, like the comfort, as I said, or display. You will see that in my final review. I'm preparing that and I will... Uh, it, it will take some days. Uh, it's a lot of work and I have a lot of stuff to do as well. Uh, but you will see my uh, very honest HP Reverb G2 review soon. And uh, I hope you liked it. If you want to see more of these 
honest reviews on my channel. It would be really nice if you could support me uh, on Patreon. One buck per month only. Patreon or YouTube membership, only one buck and you get behind the scenes videos and you can support me um, to continue my work. That would be really great guys. You can find everything in the description below. So I hope you like this video. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wurde.de 